Matt, nice to meet you. you. Nice tattoos, take, man. Yeah, oh, really? He told me about you. Awesome, so. awesome. There's the key. You might want to listen to see what it does. Yeah. Um, it just doesn't want to start. Does it crank though? Yeah, it's everything's normal. I just don't want to start. Okay, yeah. Suspicions tell me it's going to be a fuel pump, but you think uh, so? yeah. I took the back seat off because I that was my first instinct as well. Yeah. Um, but I just changed a fuel regulator like my name a couple months ago, a few months ago. Oh really? Oh yeah. 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 There's a lot of tune-ups on them. We had a guy come by and he was like, well, I don't know. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, no, man, when we I worked at Robertson for the longest time and yeah, they were like that. I was like, why did you even come out here? Yeah. Oh, he physically came out to your house. Yeah, he was here this morning. Oh, I would be embarrassed, man. I was like, okay. Oh, I'd be embarrassed, dude. Yeah, BMWs can be intimidating. Uh, and especially, man, if you don't have the right, um, if you don't have the right equipment, the right scanner and stuff, yeah. you're, you're gonna, it's gonna be a lost cause with BMW. Okay, so on the engine itself, we do not have any codes, uh, which is, that's honestly phenomenal. We do have a couple on the transmission and one on the ABS. So we'll investigate those, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and try to see why this bad boy's not starting. All right, so here we see the fuel pump. All right, so before testing, we're gonna ensure that the key is on and the engine is off. It's buzzing that fuel pump. All right, so your fuel pump is working. Okay. So that's not the problem. Thank God, those can be a bit pricey. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get anything on that. There wasn't nothing on that plug, but I'm gonna pull a couple more just to verify. How, how long ago did you have that battery replaced? I don't think it's even been a year yet. Do you know who replaced it? I can't remember. It's over across the street from the Woodland Hills Mall. Is that like AutoZone? Yeah. Was it like an auto shop like that? Yeah. Yeah. Here, so I'll show you here. After replacing that sensor, what happened was, or that sensor, that fuse, fuse it got burnt out from somehow. And so replacing it, now I got engine code. So. This 2E80, I was, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was a little, I was like, what the hell is that? So uh, looking it up, um, so this, anytime you have a battery re battery replacement, it's mm -hmm. supposed to be registered to the vehicle. You're supposed to register it to the vehicle. And if you don't, then um, sometimes you can get away with it for like, you know, a couple years. Sometimes you can get, get away with it for like a month. I tested your fuel pump, your fuel pump's working. I took out your um, spark plugs, all your spark plugs are good. I freaking went, a little step further and took checked all your fuses and all the because i was like you know sometimes it's just a pump or whatnot yeah. relatively though if it is like a fuse or something it won't act it won't let my scanner activate it'll it'll have like a wall or even when i try it won't it won't allow me to um so normally i don't have to look at the verify but this being a bmw um you always want to uh, take precautions and i've seen the reason why i pop this off this obviously isn't the fuse box but the reason yeah. why i pop this off is because this is where all the connectors go into it mm -hmm. and as being right side up against like everything mm -hmm. i've seen water and moisture get in there and cause hella yeah. you can tell it's a new battery it's freshly greased new pads <laughs> okay so here i got a little bit of bad news so your intelligent battery sensor is what it's called is bad and so when I looked it up, this is what it, this is what it is. That blue one? This is just a big piece, but right here, so there's a block. It's like a big old sensor type. See this wire here that goes to it? So it's like a big old sensor. Um, All right guys, so I'm not gonna lie to you, that was a bit tricky. So that was a kind of a hard diagnosis. There's not one, but two, and I didn't know it. There's not one, but two different fuses for the OBD port for that vehicle. Um, both relay different types of information. So when I first initially hooked up my scanner, I was only getting um, information from the TCM. And so because I was getting information from the TCM, I was like, okay, the OBD port's working just fine. 
Um, and I didn't even realize that it wasn't working just fine until I got to the fuse box itself and I was testing and then I was like, okay, you have a bad fuse. And then I looked at my schematics. So I was like, what does this belong to? And then I said ECM. So um, I plugged that bad boy in, went and diagnosed it again. And then it told me I had an unregistered battery. Basically it said I had an intelligent smart uh, sensor that went bad on a battery that went bad. And so I was like, okay, the battery, um, nine times out of 10, if you have a new battery installed and, that, and it illuminates that, it's because it wasn't registered to the vehicle and it needs to be registered. So once I registered that view, or once I registered that battery, and then I went back to the scanner, um, then it told me the same code. So then the same code meant that that sensor itself was bad. So a lot of times you can just look at them and they'll be cracked or just real worn. I looked at it and, well, first of all, when I went back there, everything was loose from the gentleman who inst installed everything. So having everything loose will cause shorts like that anyways. But I went back there and I, I looked at it, everything looked fine and it didn't look, you know, crazy worn or anything like that but it did test bad. So all it was was that intelligent smart sensor. And uh, that's probably a third time in my entire career that I've seen that happen. So obviously there'll be more down the road. So stay tuned for that.